Watch me throw this ass back. Got me set it throwing cash. Know them going out his mind like he have no heart attack. Just like a nigga extra for my time. Like I need some rap. Call my phone, I don't pick up. Like what the fuck is that bad? They work don't mess, they acting so these hoes ain't really credible. Hey you guys, so I already started to do my brows. Um, and I'm using the benefit precisely my brow in the color 3.75 um this is one of my favorite brow pencils but i know this conversation is like kind of going to be I, I really don't know where i want to go with this conversation because i don't want to come on here and come out too emotional but you know you guys know i have to be real with you i have to be honest with you i have to you know just lay shit out there that's just how i am that's how i've always been and I really didn't know which point I was going to start at, whether I was going to talk about what's been going on as far as with our family and in personal life, what's been going on with my business, what's been going on with my friends, or just like have a whole bunch of throw up and throw it all at you guys. I decided to do this in the form of a get ready with me. Um, this hair that I'm rocking, you guys know I've been in love with my green unit and I've been wearing it for a while now. And this hair is from Lovely Lux Collection. If you wanna shop my hair, the link is in the bio. I've already taken my Nutriverse and my NRG. If you need some um, health and wellness supplements, of course that link is in the bio. But we just gonna hop right into this because I just got out of like a real intense meeting. And I got out of a meeting with um, the people who I'm a, who are a part of my organization, who are a part of my business. And during this call that we was on, y'all, I literally had to check myself. I had to check myself. I had to check my feelings. I had to, you know, put my emotions on pause because you you gotta have it to where business is business and you know, personal is personal. And I try not to take things personal when it comes to this new business venture that I started. Because I feel like, you know, a lot of things that we have going on in our life, and I'm speaking for you guys too, a lot of the things that we got going on in our life, we ask for. I ask to be put in a position to where I have a team. I ask to be put in a position to where I can connect with other people. And a lot of things that we go through require us to grow at, at such a rapid pace that it sometimes, you know, catches us off guard. So I honestly feel like this is one of them um, times in my life. And I have to really, you know, get a hold of it if I want to go to the next level, if I want to make sure that this is taking me exactly where I need to be going. So let me go ahead and clean up my brows real quick because I'll sit here and be talking and this will take forever. Let me clean up my brows and then I'll be right back. You guys, I am using natural light, so if this makeup be coming off crazy or it be coming off funny, um, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm promise I'm using my right colors, but the light is kind of funny because we in this early and be I am in Atlanta, and if y'all hear all the noise in the background, it's because our family is down there. So we are. It's not really a vacation, but it's a, it's supposed to be a vacation. So, anyways. This all came about, you guys, because you guys know I'm in a multi-level marketing company. Um, I also have my own personal team with my businesses that I own. And I've been learning a lot about myself lately. And I be trying to come and not be like super deep. And I be trying to not try to sound like a teacher or educator because, um, you know, the crowd that I attracted came from who I was and and who I was before I became who I am right now, right? Which that's still a part of me, but I'm trying to learn how to balance it out. And I feel like I've been learning a lot of lessons here lately about balance, about myself, because you know, when you spend time questioning yourself, you like, God gives you answers. And a lot of the time, you know, we try to go against the grain. We don't really be liking them answers. We 
change um pushes us change forces us to come out of our comfort zone and when you are uh, experiencing change it brings about fear and fear is you know the destroyer fear destroys your mind fear destroys your opportunities fear allows you to be in positions and be in situations that you know good and well you should have um got out of and i feel like me even wanting to come discuss what i'm going through me even wanting to you know come communicate and talk about and try to translate what i'm feeling in a way to where i feel like you guys can understand what i'm saying is me facing my fear right now and I don't, I don't really know where this fear came from, how it became so evident in today's day. Because when I first started out, it wasn't like this. But that brings me to why we're here. I feel like all my life, I have been in positions and situations to where I've in some way allowed people to bully me. Or um, not bully. It wouldn't be bully out of time because it is bullying, but I feel like I would allow people to belittle me, to get over on me, and the only way I felt like I would have some sort of power was if I was to fight physically. And I've had to fight a lot throughout my life. I've had to be strong in situations where I shouldn't even be in a situation. And now with the person I am, I've grown so much. I've learned so much about myself that I've been able to counteract, you know, everything that's coming against me. So I've been I've been left to question a lot of the time, like, why is it me, or why do people not understand me, or sometimes why is it that people, you know, get intimidated by me? Why do people feel the need to come off? To where they feel like they got to empower or not even empower because it's not empower overpower me in order to be able to work with me why does it why do people feel like they can't just you know connect with me and and grow with me why do they feel like they have to belittle me use me and overpower me and i'm like what is it that i'm giving off that makes people feel this way you know and i really think now that it's not me necessarily giving off that people i mean not necessarily me giving off um something that's making them feel that way it's really something that god is sending me because it's pushing me to get to a new level mentally a new level spiritually and step up to who i am as far as i know i'm humble i've been humble but i i feel like it is pushing me to to walk in my truth to walk in my power and be okay with it and honestly you guys i know this stems from a deeper rooted issue it stems from how i was raised it stems from the relationships i decided to get involved in um and the people that I allowed to come into my life and dictate certain things. So, with this, uh, get ready with me today. I know it's a little bit all over the all over the place, and I've been having an issue with that too. I feel like I've been going through so much that I don't even know how to properly express what I've been feeling. Like I used to be so good at expressing myself. And I feel like over the last couple of years, I've grown so numb to certain things that it comes off cold and almost insensitive or like I don't care. And I'm battling with that, you guys. I'm really battling with it because I'm a super expressive person. I've always known how to, you know, get my point across to... I wouldn't say I've always known how to communicate effectively because as we know, I resorted to like fighting or, you know, something like that. But I have known how to express myself verbally. 
period. And I feel like now it's not coming out right. And it's honestly pissing me off. And then the fact that people keep feeling like they can come for me and belittle me and overpower me, that pisses me off. And, and, and I don't know what place it puts me in. I don't know what place it puts me in. So we just gonna, we gonna be honest with that and we gonna keep that right there. And I, I just, I really, I'm really coming here because I want you guys to know that I'm being as transparent as I possibly can as I'm learning and growing throughout this journey and this thing that we call life. Um, it's, it's really interesting. It is really, really interesting. And I'm learning. But let me finish this and then I'll come back and we'll end it off. Y'all know I've really been like falling back from doing these chit chat get ready with me's because when I come on here, I'll be like, you know, I got something that I feel like talking about and I don't want it to come off the wrong way. I, I'm trying to figure out when did I start really giving a fuck or caring so much about um, how I come off other people's opinions and all of this stuff. I think that's really what's bothering me. I feel like I, at this point, I don't like talking out of emotion when I used to express myself out of emotion a lot. But I think I've had so many people tell me that I'm emotional and you know I'm coming from the wrong place that it has literally shut down that part of me. I honestly feel numb to a lot of things and it's hard because I have a business and I have to be able to make executive decisions and damn, be able to move accordingly and it's really hard. It's really hard. I'm 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 super blessed and I feel so thankful and grateful to have the amazing people that I do have in my life. My amazing friends, my coaches, my fiance. And that's why I try to be here for y'all. And I try to be, you know, open and honest and transparent and but I have to I have to be honest with that. It's really hard for me to express myself right now. It's really hard for me to do this chit chat get ready with me because I feel like it's all over the place. And if I post it, just know I posted it because I want you guys to see that it ain't easy all the time. That we will have struggles and we do have battles that we have to face. And things that we have to overcome and conquer and accomplish. Um, and but I honestly feel that everything that we go through and every challenge that we face is all out of a lesson for growth. And everything is for you know our greater good. I'm just ready to see what it is. I know this, these feelings that I'm feeling. I'm like, <laughs> yo. Like, this, it's crazy. It's crazy. But right now, I am finishing up. As y'all can see, I did a little light beat. I'm going to show you in a better lighting, especially when I get done. I'm about to go in with this little NYX Three Steps to Sculpt palette. And I use this darker color. I don't really um, contour. I just go in and bronze to make it a little bit darker. Because I've been in between colors. I can't just use one color to do my foundation and so I'm actually going to be doing a video where I go foundation shopping, get some new foundations to try. I want to try some luxury foundations like I heard the Givenchy foundation is good, the, um, the Chanel, all of that so I want to be able to do all of that but I hope in some way you guys got some type of insight out of this video i hope that you got a good feel of what i'm trying to express because baby it ain't there 
it is not there and I've been fighting to get it there. And I feel like I just got so much going on in my mind. I got so much going on with my team. I don't know how to, you know, get started with one thing and, and successfully, you know, accomplish or complete that one thing. But I know one thing, I'm not, and I will not allow people at all from this day forward to use me, belittle me, abuse me, devalue me, not show me appreciation, especially when I deserve certain things. I will not make let people allow me to feel like I have to question myself and my value and what I bring to the table, you know, that's not gonna happen. And I feel that wholeheartedly. I feel that 100%. I don't know if it's coming off right, but I feel that 100%. And I don't want you guys to be out there letting that happen either. We all have a voice and we all have the option to speak and use our voice i also i just feel like it has to be you have to really know um that you are coming from a loving place and with everything i do and how i operate i operate out of the laws of god and i operate out of love so everything i do come from a genuine place and i don't think that it fits well with a lot of people and I don't think they take me well when it comes to that. And I think that's what scares me the most about business and, and organization. But I pray for certain things and I have to be able to rise to the occasion. And I'm grown. <laughs> I'm grown, you know? And when much is given, much is required. You know, but I really have enjoyed just being able to, you know, sit here and and just express myself. Like, even if I feel like at one point it was going left, it was going the opposite way of how I felt like this should go. Sometimes we just need somebody to talk to and listen and not have a response back. It's been, it's, I'm going through a lot right now, you guys. I am going through a lot. But guess what? This ain't the first time. This won't be the last time. And with every time, we just gonna continue to put God first. We're gonna let God lead our, lead our steps. We're gonna continue to, you know, come from a stable mindset. We gonna come from balance. We gonna come from love. And we're going to come from, um, you know, just wanting growth. All right. So, basically, I just got some gossipy glue to fix my edges. I don't really need nothing else on my face. It's really a light beat, y'all. We, I don't know what we're doing today or what we're going to do, but I know it ain't going to be too much. So, I'm just going in and literally brushing these little baby hairs up. And you know, trying to look like something without doing too much. And for my lipstick and my lip liner and stuff like that, I'm using my MAC um, liner and cork. I'm using the MAC Please Me lip gloss. And then I'm going over it with the Fenty Beauty in the color Fussy. So, yeah. And then I use my Better Than Sex mascara because you don't want to be naked around the eyes. Um,. I don't really want no eyeliner on right now. Cause I don't want to be too dark around the eye here. Oh my gosh, y'all, there's so much going on. People, people, people. I gotta go to the bathroom. Hurry.
goal, do you think like having like accountability and having like that support would take you farther in the business? Like, I want to kind of like have that conversation. Like, what is your goal? And, 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 and because you feel like you're missing kind of that support. If I like say, you know what, I'm trying to like figure out like a strategy for you that works for you. I definitely feel like, um, you know, I, I get how you can relate, and especially with saying, you know, you were going through the same thing or similar things because when you when you feel like you are doing your part and you are, you know, doing what you can do at the moment and you're not being appreciated for that or you feel devalued, it does cause a sense of frustration. And I honestly feel like, you know, I I have been good at keeping that to myself. I know, you know how like some things when you, you hold on to things and then it's like one thing that makes it all come out. I think this is um, one of those situations. And with the challenge, it kind of just brought out that everybody had frustration. So, uh, sir, y'all, she had a concert with my little sister.